and welcome to Food Junkie 21. Now today I am going to show you how I'm going to make some lasagna rolls with some leftover sauce that I have from the lasagna. Now right. I am going to break these in this lasagna um, pasta into thirds like so and then just put them into a pot of boiling water. I got the pasta. Now all you need is eight, eight of these, and that's it. The meat, and we got the sauce. Whoa, whoa. See? Okay, so now you want to take about three cups of spinach and chop it up. Chop, 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 chop it up. Chop, 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 chop it up, chop it up. I saw him right here laughing. Because I have no chill when it comes to me singing and cooking. Even though I can't sing, y'all. Okay, so we're going to finish this off with some oil. I'm going to put this, all this in like so. Don't let it wither all the way down. Just kind of halfway let it cook down. Then we are going to sprinkle however much you like. Just sprinkle some garlic powder. I would say about a tablespoon of garlic powder. And maybe like a teaspoon of sea salt. We don't want it to be too salty. We're going to already have the flavor from the nut meat and the sauce, the lasagna sauce, all right? Once it gets down to about like right here, this is where you want your spinach to be. Not too withered, but not too raw. Okay, I'm gonna put nut meat, spinach, a little bit of sauce. And roll that right on up. So you're going to want to stir that sauce up and put it in a pan on the bottom and then add your lasagna roll on top of it and continue to do the same thing. Put your filling in there, um, spinach, and with some sauce and nut meat, it's optional, roll it up. And then put it on top of your sauce and continue to do the same thing over and over again. Now pour whatever's left to the lasagna rolls. Make sure it don't get rolls. Now add the nut meat on top mm -hmm. and don't you ever stop. Ever, ever stop. Ever, ever stop.